What's up YouTube, it's Mr. Clean and welcome to the Pegasus 303 channel. The following tutorial is a quick and easy one for Native Instruments Machina. You may have been trying to apply properties and characteristics and general information to your loops and audio files, but you might have gotten the following error. File is write protected or other file write error. Now, if you get this error, the file works, it plays, it doesn't appear to, to be corrupted. However, you're unable to enter the um, properties, um, the characteristics and everything, and it won't attach to the artwork. And unfortunately, if you're if it's included in a batch of files that you're trying to add information to, um, some files may take on the information, others may not, because this one sort of throws the whole thing off. And if you look, it won't attach to the artwork and it does not have the information that you entered. I um, had to redo this video so it looks a little different. I lost part of my previous footage, so it's on the up and up. It actually does work, so I just had to reshoot, recreate this uh, portion of it. So I know it's this file here, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click. And you wanna be very careful, don't delete. Um, it doesn't really highlight, so it's kinda odd. So find in Finder. Okay, it's gonna pop up right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch this file. Oh yes, and for you current Mac users, it's going to launch QuickTime Player 10. Um, I don't want to use that because it only converts to a M4A file and I need it to be waived. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And let's go ahead and launch QuickTime Player 7 Pro. Pro meaning you can uh, export and whatnot. And real important, I want to Command I to get information on the file. And it is 16-bit. 441, okay, really important to remember because we want it to match. And if you use it in a previous um, track, weird things might happen. So you just wanna make sure that uh, everything's on up and up and that it matches. So I'm gonna go ahead and file, gonna export and sound to wave. And we're gonna go 441 16-bit stereo. Keep in mind, it is a interleaved stereo file, so make sure you don't choose mono, otherwise uh, things might not work. So it's gonna convert it to a wave file, so basically it's wave to wave, and it's 40, gonna be maintained 44.1 and 16-bit stereo. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that to my desktop. And let's save. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and Ditch QuickTime 7 there. And let's uh, let's see if I can dig up my desktop here. Okay, and here it is. And make sure that it shows the dot .wave extension. If it doesn't, um, select the file, command I, get information, and make sure hide extension is not checked. So you wanna see that dot .wave extension and simply drag it into that same folder. It's gonna prompt you to replace it. Go ahead and replace it. Um, I should have mentioned you probably should have quit Machina first, so go ahead and quit that and then launch it again. And then when you fix your permissions, or actually when you try to add the parameters, it should work. And if you don't have QuickTime 7 Pro, uh, you can simply take that same file, drag it over to iTunes, and it's gonna start playing. Just go ahead and stop that. All right, go ahead and select that file and go to File, convert. Oh, AAC version. Okay, if that happens, uh, go to iTunes, preferences, and under when a CD is inserted, import settings, go ahead and click that. Choose wave encoder and custom. And let's make sure it's 44.1, 16-bit stereo. Okay, let's do that and click OK and OK. So now when you select that file again and you click convert, let's select the file again. When you go to convert, it's now gonna give you the option to create a wave version. So go ahead and click that and it's gonna pop up uh, right next to it and just simply grab that one once it's completed, drag it to your desktop. And I'm gonna go ahead and quit iTunes. Okay, let's bring up a desktop folder. All right, so I have two of them now. Uh, and just simply take that one and uh, same deal, just drag and drop and replace it.